Our next guest joining us on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline is Sean Olmstead, one of our favorite people ever, the head coach of BYU men's volleyball in his first year. And uh, I believe the last time he was on BYU TV, he delivered one of my more favorite interviews that I've, I have ever witnessed. Let's, let's watch and listen to this. Lauren Frankham is with Sean Olmstead. Coach, that was a long second set. Take us through what happened at the end there. Yeah, we can serve in. What improvements do you want to see in the third set? You got to serve in. Anything else? No, that's it. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> he wasn't happy. He might not be happy now that we played that. Sean, listen, are you are you feeling better than you did in that moment? Uh, well, you know, as soon as we get to uh, L.A., I'll feel a little more at ease. But, yeah, we're working there. We're making our way there. <laughs> Wait, you're not in L.A. now? Where are you? No, we're in Salt Lake. Oh, we you're flying out on eight. game day. We play tonight at 8. That's right. Oh, okay. Nothing was just delayed. Kidding. You just flew out no, on game. we're in L.A. We're in L.A. Oh, you're oh, April Fool's. Oh, on, April Fool's! <laughs> oh, I just got busted. <laughs> I just got busted. Oh, and you're that, also was not, fan, that was fantastic. And you're also not wearing neon. <laughs> hey, but I will say, Spencer, Spencer, don't go top. Just, you look great. You're a handsome guy. Don't do what Jerem says. You don't have right? to follow the Thank the rest. you. Thank you, just, Sean. You keep it. Keep it open. We don't have to all follow, you know the Macklemores and everybody else out there. We just, <laughs> you, you know, be who you are, and you look great. You're a handsome dude. Thank you, Sean. Again, one, of my, Fools? Fa- oh! one of my favorite people ever. There's no, there's no April Fool's to that. <laughs> You're a handsome man. April Fool's! <laughs> All right, Sean, uh, other than serving the ball in, what do you need to emphasize for your team in preparation for the number one ranked UCLA Bruins tonight? No, I mean, we, we, we've got to serve in. They're the best serving team in the country uh, right now and so they're going to bring it and uh, we've served really really well out here Um, we've done a great job here and uh, at sea level when we've come out here and been really aggressive so we can continue that and just if we can just stay kind of in our own our own deal it's going to be a big crowd I'm certain we're playing in the wooden center so that's a little different um, I, I've never really been in that gym, you know, even growing up just right up the road. I've never been in that gym too, too much. So we spent a good amount of time there last night. And so, yeah, it'll be good. What's in Poly Pavilion that uh, makes so you can't play there? You know, uh, great question. Uh, <laughs> I guess I don't ask those ones, you know, that could be the Pac-12 network or something. I, I don't know. I, I, there's no basketball, so there's uh, yeah, that's why I'm wondering. things going on. But, but, yeah, I don't know. They were playing there. With two weeks left in the regular season and the top four separated all by one game, the top three are all tied for first place, how meaningful are these two matches this weekend for your team? Yeah, they, they asked me that yesterday on the Pac-12 Network, and it was with Al Skate, so that was fun to catch up with him and razz him a little over just some of the all the controversies over the years. I, I was uh, <laughs> Luckily, I know Al well enough that I can bring those up, and he'll laugh about it. I don't know if he would under other circumstances, but uh, – um, cause it's, we've had a, it's been a fun history with those guys, especially when I played, we, for the most part, had the upper hand pretty much my entire career. And, uh, I remember that it, you know, it was always, if you're going to UCLA, you can guarantee, we can guarantee you're going to win a national championship. And our class, my class was kind of the first class that at BYU that that couldn't happen, you know, five, six year drought where they didn't win a national championship, you know? So it's, uh, but I'll ask the same thing. And I said, look, Al, all these matches are huge. And the guys have done really – they've competed hard on the road. They've played really, really well on the road. So it's going to be a fun matchup. And UCLA is good. They've got some very talented freshmen. Um, my uh, parents that have played for my dad. So I've been fortunate to know their parents over the years. And these kids are playing loose and happy and having fun, these freshman kids. And they've got some, some big, strong uh, upperclassmen kids as well. BYU head volleyball coach Sean Olmstead with us on BYU Sports Nation. You have the greatest collection of shoes, I think, of any person that I know. <laughs> and th- the game's on the Pac-12 network tonight, Sean. What what are you going with tonight? No, you know, tonight I'm going to go with uh, some new shoes. My, my, my wife went out on Easter. I got home Easter Sunday late, and she had a nice present for me, so I got to give her props. So it's not going to be – uh, y awards esque. Okay. But it's, uh, <laughs> and those were a little too much UCLA color, anyway. So, uh, but uh, it's you know we're just I'll, I'll try to do my best to look decent because I I, that's, I struggle with that just in general. So I'll do my best there. Neon baby, neon for the win. <laughs> um, the, the rival in uh, men's volleyball seems to be UCLA. What is it about UCLA that's always made it kind of the number one 
rival. I, I mean, competitively, they've dropped some years, but there's oh, it always seems like it's a little feistier with them. I mean, it's you know, Jeremy, it's UCLA and those guys. There's they don't have enough wall space for their their banners. I mean, it's ridiculous, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> the the uh, yeah, it's what Al did there is is unbelievable, and and he, it goes back to just their glory years of winning back-to-back-to-back national championships and then winning them every two, three years consistently without fail. And so that's, that is the team, and they still are, and they've got a, they've got a great coach in John that's leading USA Volleyball, and so they're, you know, they've got a lot of young kids uh, that, are, that are playing at a pretty high level and confident, and so it, it has been uh, always been a, yeah, a pretty big rival for us, and it's always been an exciting match to be a part of, and I'm certain there's a buzz out here that it's going to be the same again tonight. You're going to coach in it for BYU for the first time tonight. You have played in that atmosphere in Westwood, even though it's going to be in the Wooden Center. What makes the road challenge tonight so difficult in terms of the crowd and the atmosphere that you anticipate and will will receive tonight? Well, yeah, I'm certain we'll have a ton of BYU fans. There's no doubt about that. I mean, I'm, I'm the BYU fans are the best, hands down. There is no question. Everywhere we've gone on the road, we've had recruits that uh, – you know, or on visits to other schools that, you know, just went to Provo two weeks before and they go there and it's like, what, 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 I thought I was at a different university, you know, and, and so the, the BYU fans have been unbelievable and un, unreal. And so there's always a shout out for those guys. But, you know, it's always unique. You're playing in a different gym somewhere you're not as completely comfortable and you're playing against a team that usually, for the most part, is fairly comfortable. But uh, in our case, the strange thing about our team, to be honest, um, I'm going to shoot it straight, is we've served better on the road than we do at home. So I like that part of it, and uh, it's really, really true. So the guys have been really confident on the road, bomb and serves. Um, and so if we can do that and we can bring it to them there and get them in trouble and just be disciplined, you know, things will – it'll be a real tough – it'll be a fun matchup. I don't know if you've had this before, but are you nervous because the match is on television tonight, Sean? <laughs> Jerem, I mean, you've seen me, you've seen my wife. I, I make this deal look pretty good. Like, I, I don't have to work too hard, you know. I don't have to, for, I don't have to force April the Fools. top button. I don't need to go to the, you know, the nice barber, you know, where all the other guys go. I, you know, I do my With thing. With Ben and I? You're not going to come <laughs> yeah, to our barber? We, no, we were talking about it, and Ben was like, yeah, we got to get you in there. I said, Ben, I got this. I got this all taken care of, buddy. No, I, uh, <laughs> this, no, this. I don't. I. I honestly, honestly, I can truly say I don't know if I've ever even thought about that ever in my career. Hey, thanks. Oh, man, thanks for TV. that. We do all the games, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jerem, come on. Hey, no, don't go there because I've I'm given just, you guys more love than anybody. I'm just but kidding. No, I, I. I've never felt like a ner- uh, You know, oh man, this is a different match because we're on. You know, BYU TV, or now we're on ESPN two, or we're going to be on uh, K five. You know, whatever is in Hawaii, and now we're going to be on the Pac twelve network. Never once, and I don't. I. I, I probably don't think many coaches do it's it's a volleyball match and it's we got to win the match in the line you know pin to pin we've got to be good and if we can hey i look good on tv and we're going to win doing it so great sean it is always a pleasure i'm just thinking why don't we have him on more often this needs to happen again just don't pop a bitch anybody tonight again i i can i can say that i'm i'm more entertaining than juddy you know and and, (laughs) but, but Juddy, Juddy, he gets more love and more TV time than me, so I'm, I'm waiting because I don't think he's brought the gift I've brought, but maybe he has. That's a great point. Wow. <laughs> point Jay, calling, calling Jeff Judkins, where are our shoes, Jeff? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Sean, good luck tonight. Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma to go and beat the Bruins. Do it. All right. Thanks, guys. Coach Sean Olmstead on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, your values, your timeline, your financial view.